Yo, what's up guys? My name is Zach or Optic Tubar, and I've got another quick tutorial for you guys. This one is a glowing kill feed tutorial. So this is what it looks like. You can see it's it's a really nice glowing uh, text on the kill feed when you get a quad feed. That really helps, especially in a situation where you can't really see the feed. And I want to mention before we get started that if you're new to After Effects and you don't really know what's going on, I have a basic training series that I'm doing. And the link will be in the description or annotated on the screen, so you can go check that out. But for everyone else, let's get started. I'm going to start by taking our clip, which I provide in a download link in the description. You can download it and uh, follow along if you want, or you can follow along with your own clip. I'm going to take it and drag it into a new composition. Alright, it's going to open up in a new composition. And what you need for this is you need a frame where you're fully scoped in and you can see the feed so what I mean by that is this this is the frame you need a black background in front of the kill feed and what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate just this text by using the black background and removing it alright so what you wanna do is find that frame that is pure black so there's a little bit of blood on the screen so I'm gonna go backwards until I find a nice clean frame this one looks good nice clean text and what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the clip and on the top one I'm going to right click time freeze frame so the top one is frozen and with that layer selected I'm going to go up to my rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw a rectangle mask around the text here next I'm going to go to our effects and presets I'm going to search up levels I'm going to drag that onto our layer and I'm going to increase the input white, or decrease it rather, up into to the point where the text becomes pure white. And you can see it's pure white because up in the info panel, you can see if you hover over the text, it'll be, uh, let's see, 255, 255, 255. You can see that up there, which is exactly what we want. And then you want to increase the input black until the background is pure black and pure black is zero 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 up here and yes it is pure black so perfect now we've got a perfect black and white cutout and we're going to use what's called a luma mat to separate the back background and uh, separate this this text that we want so next I'm going to make a new solid a new white solid press OK I'm going to drag it under the freeze frame layer that's masked out that we just created before and under track mat and if you don't see this there's a little switch down here that you can press so you can press F4 on your keyboard and under track mat on the white solid layer I'm going to select luma mat so now what we have is just text and it's now pure white but it's completely separated so I could you know move this around but obviously we don't want to move it around but you can see it's just nice separated layer of just the text. Alright, that's cool, but the problem is that we have a quad feed in this clip. And this is only two kills, so so we're going to have to add two more to make it a full quad feed. So what I'm going to do is select our two layers and pre-compose them. And if you don't know how to do that, select your two layers, come under layer, pre-compose. I'm going to name this kill feed mat. Press OK. And I'm also going to grab a freeze frame just as a reference layer so we can line this up better. So I'm going to find a frame that has the full quad feed. I'm going to duplicate the clip, time, freeze frame, and then just edit, cut, and then go into our kill feed mat composition, and then just paste it, and then drag it on the bottom. And now we can just, it's easier for us to line up text. So what we want to do now is to duplicate the text. You have to duplicate both of the layers because they're, they're kind of together now, if you know what I mean. So just duplicate them. And then with the, these two selected, just nudge them upwards with your arrow keys. You can see the arrow keys will nudge a layer upwards and just nudge them upwards until it's completely lined up with the other text. So it looks complete quad feed, that looks about good. And then just make sure to delete your reference layer after you're done. 
And it looks like that we have a little bit of the gun showing here, so I'm just going to select this mask here and bring it in a little bit, and I'm going to do the same for the other one, just to get rid of that little piece there. Alright, so now we have our text completely cut out, and if we go back into our other comp, you can see that we have pretty much what we're going for. We have the text, and it's separated, and now what we can do is add a bunch of style to it, and uh, make it look fancy. So what I like to do is probably add a fill, and um, I'll make it a green this time, maybe I've done blue already. And probably some glow. And you know, this part's completely up to you, obviously, but you may want to increase the threshold or rather the, uh, the radius or the intensity to get it how you want. And if you have this plugin, you could also add uh, some trap code shine. So, trap code shine which is a pretty good plugin for this. But this part is up to you completely. But what I think looks good is you know some uh some glowy kill feed thing and then if you don't want it too brightly you can you can mess with the blend mode and set that to maybe add or you know overlay or something. Probably add probably looks the best. So, we're pretty much done here, and the only thing left we have to do is to cut it so that it only shows up when the full quad feed comes up. So I'm just going to wait until the full quad feed comes up, cut, and trim the layer. You can trim it just by dragging it in, holding shift, or pressing alt, open bracket. And then trim it at the end, right about here and then just press T for opacity and then just do a little quick fade in so that it's not doesn't just appear it fades in and off you know and we are done so you can see if I ram preview this obviously it's not synced up or anything but you'll see what it looks like so it really helps draw the feed if that's what you're into. Some people don't like focusing on the feed, so this is really up to you if you want to use it or not. Uh, some people think it's better to focus on the clip than the feed, which, you know, I see both sides of it. But anyways, guys, I hope you learned something, and uh, go ahead and hit the like button if you liked it, and maybe share it if you really liked it. You know, do whatever. Share it on Twitter. That really helps me out, and it would be much appreciated. So if you would like, you can also leave a comment on other things you want to see in a tutorial. And if you are new to After Effects, be sure to check out my basic training series, which is in the description and on the screen. Here's some other tutorials you may have missed, and I will catch you guys later.